lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. And here's your host, Miss Kim. Before the music starts, can you turn my mic up? Thank you. 
It's here. Back to Gospel. The second Sunday of each month, located on the corner of Belmont and the Village. Local artists, choirs, quartets, and praise teams, alongside our host group, the Heavenly Stars of Pensacola, perform the second Sunday of each month on the corner of Belmont and the Villas. The program starts at 3 p.m. with the Dwarf Chicken Cafe on site and open for dining during this gospel event. Tickets are only $5. For more information, call us at 850-449-9866 or visit our website at www.pcolabacktogospel.org. Or you can look for us on YouTube at Back to Gospel, Belmont and the Villas. That's Back to Gospel. Hello, hello. This is Kimmy Kim, and welcome to Fellowship Friday with Kimmy Kim. Yes, yes, yes. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we want to rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, let's praise the Lord. Yes. We have a special guest on today. He is a man of God that I was I had the privilege to meet in Pensacola, Florida. And uh, we're going to bring him on and just have a good old fellowshipping time. We're going to have a wonderful talk with my friend, Solomon Bozeman. Yes. <laughs> He's amazing. So amazing. Yes, he is. And before we do this, um, let's go to the Father in prayer. Father God, once again, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for making ways out of no way, Father God. Thank you for food, clothes, and shelter. Thank you for just being you, Father. We just love you. We uh, magnify you. We honor you. And we give you all the honor and the glory because it's because of you that we're here, Father God. It has nothing to do with us. It's all about your son, Jesus Christ. And we're going to continue on praising you and giving you praises. Until the day we are in glory and worship you all day, every day. And Father God, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. What a mighty God we serve. Yes, 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 yes. And without further ado, we want to have my brother, my friend, um, my, uh, he is also our pastor, Pastor Solomon Bozeman. How you doing? God bless you. How you doing, Kimmy Kim? God bless you. you. How you doing, Kimmy Kim? I'm good. You know, the applause was. Say that again. Hello? Hello. Are we here? I'm not receiving you at all. Oh, no. Okay. 
Okay, I think we have it now. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you now. Okay. I, sometimes when I log on to my Hangout, it tends to hang me up. I'm so sorry about that. And All welcome well. to the welcome to the show. And how are you doing? Thank you. Thank you for having me. Glad to be here. No, it's an honor because um, you are also a pastor. <laughs> You get another round of applause because I really believe in getting the word across and making sure that not only God uh, is um, the head of your life, but you're um, you're giving us food that we can live on on a daily basis. So that's an honor to be in the house of a pastor. And um, we had a good uh, fellowshipping time briefly at the Pensacola event and. Uh, It's been an amazing time just learning who you are. But for the listeners, who is uh, Brother Bozeman? Well, God bless you. Thank you for having me once again. Brother Bozeman is a servant of the Lord. I'm here to uh, render service to the body of Christ, not only to the body of Christ, but unto the waiting world who, who needs to know Christ in a very real way, you know, for their soul salvation. Oh, wow. You're to the point. And that's my life because, you know, I really believe that when you know who you are and, you know, your purpose on life, God also gives you gifts and you have many of them. And one of them is your music. And I uh, really appreciate you sharing gifts that God has given uh, to you on the platform of relation. Um, How long have you been singing? And praising the Lord well, in this format. Well, well, thank you for asking that question. But you know, it's, it goes with me, as a lot of people would say. With me, I've been I've been um, um, anointed with music since I was a child. Um, wow. I, I grew up. I grew up. My mother was a, a, a minister. She was a, a pastor of a church. She also was a drummer. She played drums, and you know, she was always active. In the church, and I always wanted to be active uh, in the church as well. So I kind of emulated her. Um, my father went to church, but he wasn't the uh, he wasn't you know like a minister or, or nothing like that. But I really wanted to be more active in the church. So other than just being a little bench member, so I wanted to play the drum. So I wanted to play music. So I started trying to play the drums like my mother played, and it kind of gravitated from there. Amen, amen, because I, I um, hear um, the anointed on your um, songs, especially, I'm sorry, Jesus Rose. Wow. <laughs> That's enough right there, just the title. <laughs> yep. So God who writes some God. of your lyrics? <laughs> wow. Say it again. Who writes some of your music? Who writes the music? Yes. No, I write the music. I'm, I'm, I'm the author. Of the music, I write it, I produce it. Um, now I do have some of my family members, you know, just being around me, you know, give me thoughts and ideas periodically. But as a rule of thumb, what you hear and and what you what you are receiving is what God has uh, appointed and placed in me. Uh, the the music that is being played, I wrote it, I played it. Uh, the uh, the singing. Well, I, I, you know, I've, I've done it, and I, I don't want to say, I like, I like, I'm all of that. It's just a blessing to be able to have gifts and talent that you can reach out to people that they will really enjoy, and you can help point them in the right direction uh, by uh, with the lyrical content in your music. Uh, that's that's very important to to God and me, and so because I want to please Him. Uh, Having said that, he said, if you love me, feed my sheep. So with the gifts mm-hmm. and talents that I have, especially through music, uh-huh. is a conduit to touch people uh, near and far. Uh, 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 near and far, we travel the world. And uh, and, and and with the hope of Jesus Christ uh, being, uh, being forefronted in the music. So we just thank God for an opportunity to be able to be a humble vessel, to be used. Uh, and I just I just give him all the glory and praise for it. I really do. Wow, you just mentioned around the world. 
Name some of the places that you have been and how have those um, visitation uh, when it comes to uh, spreading your wonderful ministry and music. How has that changed your life? Tremendously. Um, I might add, I, I've always wanted to be a musician, and I've always wanted to, I always wanted to uh, be a help to people. And when I um, just really saw seeking the Lord His face myself, not on my mama's prayers, not on my grandmama's prayers, not on my grandfather's prayers, or that sort of thing. But when I started developing a relationship with the Lord myself, I said, "Hey, mm-hmm. I can use this mm-hmm. talent." to touch people. So as we travel the globe uh, by the grace of God, you know, we, we touch people in Europe, such as, you know, the U.K., Ireland. Uh, we, 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 we reach out to people uh, uh, in Italy, uh, wow. Germany, uh, Kosovo. Uh, 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 we just went all over. All, also in the, uh, in the Americas, too, we, we travel uh Argentina, Argentina, uh, uh, Brazil. Wow, Uruguay. Brazil. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, yeah. Uruguay, Chile, uh, just to name a few. And and the audiences that we have are not necessarily church uh, people, uh, church you know people that go to church. The audiences that uh, are looking to hear uh, good music and they like good music. And so whether it be whether it be and uh, we perform uh, in opera houses, you know, well famous opera houses all over the country, all over the world, uh, we performed in um, uh, 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 outstanding uh, stage. I haven't been to Carnegie Hall yet, but I'd like to go there. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Amen. And just, hey, it's coming. Know, you, you were a good management job. team, so yeah, you were a good management team, so I know you would be there. <laughs> yes. So we 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 just we just have opportunity to minister to the world, and the world seems to embrace it. You have a lot of people who who want to know more about God and know more about the faith of Jesus Christ, uh, but they're not necessarily uh, going to church. There's a lot of stuff that's going on in the body of Christ. Is not so appealing to the world, you know. A lot of people say I get where I am, but when we can take the message to the world through a song, you know, and gather. God told us to go and you know spread the word uh, uh, with the gifts and the talents that we have, and we we go we go to these different places. I would go to a casino and perform the gospel, the, the music that I have. I will perform yeah. it. It does not matter because it's evangelism. Yeah, Jesus said it. He hung out with people like me. He didn't hang out with the church folks. <laughs> and with that being said, you made a good valid point because uh, we were on the pastor's corner on last night talking about judge. And how can judgment really hinder not only people in the body of Christ, but people who are who who don't know who God is? I mean, although we know that God lives because He still is on time with the seasons. He He set the sun. He raised the sun, he allowed the moon and the stars to appear in the sky and we won't have any excuses, but how can we allow judgment not to be one of the, um, really the, uh, I call it a blockage that can really hinder not only the growth of those who know Christ, but those who are um, familiar with Christ. How can we let that judgment go because I'm still reminded when Jesus was at the well with the woman with the issue with many husbands, he didn't ever judge her. So how can we, you know, manage that judgment because we don't have the right to judge. It was a good topic, heated topic on um, last week, last night. So. <laughs> well, 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 I would say study and know your, know for yourself. Study to show yourself approved. Mm-hmm. A workman need not be ashamed, yeah. rightly dividing the word of truth. So once you apply the word uh, of the of the Almighty Father to your life and make it visible in your life, you won't be judgmental. Uh, but you will have a you will have a heart for people to make Come sure on. that they know the you will, you have a heart for people to to make sure that they know the truth. I can, yeah. can I give you a slight can I give you a slight example? I was yeah, at, I was yeah at, sorry, I was at, <laughs> <laughs> let, 
Listen, I, I was, I was in a, <laughs> I was in France. I, I think I was in Paris, France, and I, I had been tr- touring the, the whole country uh, for about several weeks at that time. Uh, we had several more weeks to go, and uh, we stopped. We stopped at one city. Uh, we was at the concert hall, and this young man came up, and uh, he he told me I was signing autographs and taking photographs with people. But he came up to me. He bought a, he bought a CD. He purchased the CD, and he came up to me and said, "He said, you know, you guys are really good." I said, "Well, God bless you, thank you, man." And he's but he said, "But I don't believe you. I don't believe in the stuff that you all are singing. Uh, uh, I don't believe in all of this, you know." He said, "I've been following you all for the past three. He followed us for the past three concerts in different cities, and um, and he he wanted to see what we really real about this." He he said because he said religion, he said he said I don't believe in all this religious stuff, and so the uh, in the in the uh, foyer where we were signing autographs and a whole lot of people making them around, it began that a hush became over the crowd, and he said I don't believe in this and that sort of thing, and I guess people thought I was I don't know I don't know what they thought, but a hush came over, and I said you know what I don't believe in religion neither. And he said, and so his eyes bugged, and he run. He said, "You mean to tell me you don't you sing about religion and you don't believe?" I said, "No, I said I don't sing about religion. I sing about relationship with Jesus Christ." And I said, mm. uh, "I said the relationship that one." I say religion. I say religion and traditions are going to send people to hell, but a mm. relationship. I said, but a relationship with Jesus Christ is going to raise everybody from the dead. They're going to cause you to live. And once you know Jesus for yourself, <laughs> praise God. And, yeah, and when, you know, when, you know, when you know Jesus when you know Jesus Christ for yourself, then you will want to go to church. Then you will want to be religious in your deportment because what you want to do is please God. You want to be around people who knows about the word of God, and you want to be around people that you're familiar with. You just came into this body of Christ. You want to you want to grow spiritually as well as physically, and so I told him I said and he said he said but you're a minister I said yeah I was I'm I'm ordained I'm an ordained Baptist minister I said but I was raised Pentecostal I said so how did that get you I said so my point my point of it is it's not about religions or traditions even though God mm-hmm. has no problem with us being religious or having our traditions He does not but nothing supersedes the relationship between Jesus Christ and you. And if you have that relation if you have that relationship with Jesus Christ, everything else is uh easy to swallow. You can pay, you can bypass all the other stuff. But we first got to teach people how to be saved by knowing Jesus as their personal savior. Yes. Because I'm seeing that a lot of people are becoming more judgmental, but we have to remember that um Jesus is the perfect being and he loves you know, throughout our imperfections. And that's how I really believe that you will come back, um, you know, people in professions, because we are still, as Paul says, we are striving towards the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus each day. We have not arrived. And I love that because religious will send people to hell. Because if you can tell me on, um, in a word where it says, if you do a certain thing, you want to hell. The only thing that would take you to hell is not knowing who Jesus is. You know, you have people say, you can't do this in church. You can't do that in church. You can't do this. But when you are um, in the midst of Jesus, you will want to please him. So your lifestyle would change. The places exactly. you used to go would change. And that's, the, and that's the key, Kim and Kim. Once you know Jesus for yourself in a very real way, you don't want to be the same that you are. You become, mm. you, you, want, you want to please your Lord and Savior. You want to mm. please, it's almost like, it's almost like if you got married uh, and yeah. uh, you want to please your husband or uh, because you want that relationship to work because you yeah. love that, that man or that woman if you're married to, to you know, if a man marry a woman. You want that relationship to work. So what you do is you do the things that will make them please uh, and so they can see, so you can always have favor uh, in their sight because you want to make them happy. And that's, and that's a blessing within itself. More so with the Lord Jesus Christ. Once you become to know Him in a very real way, Kim, uh, you want to please Him and you want to follow His precepts. 
And whatever yeah. God say in his scriptures that is that is uh, uh, good for for our healing and for our chastisement and for our edification here on this earth, you will you will receive it gladly, even though sometimes it hurts. Uh, but yeah. sometimes, but but you have to know that for yourself. I tell everybody to study and understand the word of God for yourself. Know Jesus for yourself. And and then my music is not judgmental. It has it has a it has a feel a that people wanna people wanna <laughs> jump and, and dance and say, oh man I like that but at the same time I'm telling them I'm telling them about the love of God. Wow. With that being said, where can people find your music? Because you do offer a variety of music. And one thing I love about you, you don't put your music in one box. You spread it. <laughs> amen, amen. I love that. I, I, te- I tell you this. I tell you this. What happened, um, um, when I was a young musician, I used to try to be in the church as much as I could. Uh, I, was, I wasn't, I wasn't um, really accepted. Um, um, and, but I, was, I kept learning. I kept playing. I, I fast and prayed and asked God to just teach me how to, to uh, play music, and I'd always uh, praise him. And so even though I didn't get a chance a lot of time to practice or play uh, in a sanctuary, uh, which I, I do very well since, you know, I, I do very well now. But my point, my point of it is when I was young, people all, because I wasn't a part of the clique, so they wouldn't have Yes, you better repeat that one. <laughs> so, so I'm, I, for lack of a better word, I'm a part of the clique now, so everybody in his mother wants me to play or preach somewhere. Okay. So, But at, when I first started off, I, I didn't have that. So every chance I got a chance to play, I played. And uh, and my music my music took on a more of a, a, a secular overtone, if, if I could be so bold to say that, uh, because of, of the, the things that I was listening to as for the music, you know, the R&B music back in the day, uh, mm-hmm. uh, the jazz music and all of that. I, I used to listen to a lot of jazz and R&B. I still, mm-hmm. and, uh, I still love I my jazz. Listen. I'm sorry. I can't say I used to listen to it. I love jazz and R&B, some of it. <laughs> I still listen to it. Oh, yes, of, of course. I, and I must tell you this, too. So it, so am I. I mean, I like all forms of music because all forms of music uh, has, has a message in it. Uh, it yes. Has, it has it has healing power to it. That music is a universal language, and it can yeah. it, it it can it can heal or it can make you uh, tear up something, you know. Yeah. So uh, as a rule of thumb, God used music to to bring people together, and so even Let though me tell a, you. if a song even if a song is um, if if a if a song is just you know secular. You know, if as long as, as long as not saying, you know, you know, being too risque or talking, talking, right. you know, foul, foul stuff, you know. But if you saying I love you, uh, you the best, you the best woman that I got. That when well, I uh, that music, you the best woman that I have, but you the best man that I love. Other, other, you know, other than getting real risque, because some of this music is you have to be careful. You got to have a right. spiritual ear to hear. But yeah. but music itself is not a problem. It's not a problem. No. The songs of Solomon, the songs of Solomon. If you read that, you gush. Oh you're my gush. goodness! And check this out, my brother. No, I'm trying- music brought me back <laughs> into church. You know what? What brought me back into church? It wasn't a pastor sermon. It wasn't a uh, me being on the bench and tarrying. It was a song by Kirk Carr, Barry yes. Mountain. Got me back into yes. church. When I, I went to church at Antioch in Atlanta, 1998. Pastor uh, Dr. Cameron Alexander did not have to sing, well, preach. My mind was already made up because I was a prodigal daughter. I've been in church all my life, but you know, you wander off. You want to, you know, experience life. You're, you all still going to church sure. um, mm-hmm. um, on Sunday, so Monday through Saturday, I was, you know, dipping and dapping. I was a lukewarm Christian. But back in 1998, a lot of things were happening, and I was just like fed up. And you know, sometimes you just get to that particular situation where you need more. You, you want more. So I was journeying for more. And um, I dedicated my life back again in 1998 because I was saved since 12. But I, like I said, I wandered off. So ever since then, I've been sold out for the Lord. But you're right. Songs have a message. And that song was just, to this day, still dear to my heart. So I applaud you for spreading your wonderful gift because it does impact people. People come to God differently. 
and I really am honored to just have you on. And um, another thing, um, I know you're coming up with a new project. Uh, when is that coming out? <laughs> you're trying to get a scoop, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know how we are. We try to get a little bit of the case. <laughs> well, we actually, actually, I'm working on a, a project with my group, the Sounds of the Gulf Coast. Um, okay. It's not a solo. It's not a solo project, but it's it's a project uh, that I I written and, and produced. Uh, and this is a this is a fine group of people, uh, uh, anointed uh, men and women, uh, singing uh, for the Lord. And uh, it's kind of the music is, you know, you, you know it's you know it's it's gospel, but it has its own unique flavor and style. The, the anointing. Mm-hmm. Mo- more, I can say about my music is anointed because I don't care who listens to it, whether you listen to country western or not. People like that music, and it has nothing to do with me. It's been anointed by God Amen. to reach people, and so so the sounds of the Gulf Coast is a is a unique group of people, uh, men and women who who love to sing for the Lord, and uh, we are trying to make sure that this opportunity doesn't pass us by that we, we get this done with this particular group. I am also working on a wow. uh, solo, <laughs> so, solo project as well. But And when is the, that coming the, out? We want to support you. We know well, those soon, projects come out. Well, my solo project probably will come out, I, I, I'm, I'm a, off the top of my head, sometime next year. Uh, okay. It's, it's, it's in the work. Uh, this 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 choir this is supposed to come out this year, Amen. and uh, and we're looking we're looking forward for that. And I know you're going to enjoy it. Uh, everybody's going to enjoy it. It can be played on secular stations, and or uh, gospel or music stations. Uh, so Amen. And that's what we're all about. We're about reaching God's people, and and uh, and enjoy music. I enjoy music, Kim. Uh, me too. Me. I love music. Hey, I'm like a David. I cannot live without music. Sorry, God. I and get, cannot live without you. But I need my music in the in my uh, final death when I before I, I raise up and be with, with Jesus. I want music there. <laughs> I just and like and you, know, you know, my my uh, uh, my name my name happened to be Solomon David. Oh wow! You got the <laughs> you got the father and the son in your. <laughs> Wow, right, right. <laughs> so David, David, David was a musician as well. So it's kind of ironic that I turned out to be as, as that, as well as he was. He had many, he had many giftings. He, he was a statesman. He was a king. He was a warrior. He was a a, a teacher. Uh, he was a musician. Uh, he was, he was all the things God gave him. He, he utilized for the betterment of the kingdom of God. Uh, Amen. And so we just thank God for that. And I want to say this briefly, real quick. When we get through preaching here, Kim, yeah, we're gonna always we're gonna always sing. When we go to glory, we're gonna be we're gonna sing forever and ever. Amen. You better preach that. And I'm gonna say thank you, thank you, Jesus. You know, it's a song. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Bow, bowing at His feet. Amazing time. And you know, it's gonna be like one of those um, parties that won't stop. So people in the church must understand. You got to rehearse now. So you get your praise exactly. on. Exactly. <laughs> you got to get your praise on. I just don't see. I used to be a, a really quiet Christian, but now when you just think on how God has been and what He has done for you, it's kind of hard for me to be quiet. I'm sorry. I'm loud. Too. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I, I, I understand you. I, I feel you. <laughs> and, and I know, you know we got to go. We're going to have you back. Let, let, let me say this, Kim. Let me say this. And they say when we get the glory, we're going to sing forever. Well, we won't sing the same song twice. Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Amen. And we won't we won't be preaching anymore because we there will need be in the need for preaching. Jesus? Pre- preaching is for us here to convert, to come to Jesus while we have time. When we get the glory, we're just gonna have a good time forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I'm with you and I can't wait to uh see you there. Uh but before we hey. go Amen. <laughs> I know we're going to have a good time. Um, I need you to really give me a synopsis on Jesus Rose. And can you also give out your contact information and pray us out? 
Okay. Um, well, the, the the premise for Jesus He arose is to let people know that Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And I come, I just want people to know that when you see me, you see a, you see God at work. You don't see God because I'm not God. You see when you see me and I walk and I talk, you see God walking and talking through me uh, uh, because I practice what I preach. I want to please God so much. And so that's that's uh, that's what I want to do, and I want everybody to know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light as well. So that's why that song come about. You can see Him in my life, and any other person who's living the life of Christ, uh, you can see Christ. He's already arose in our souls. Um, you can purchase uh, the album itself, Heart Condition, on iTunes, uh, Google Play. You can also purchase uh, purchase it at. Uh, uh, well, all the major uh, uh, internet stores on C- CD Baby as well. So go out and 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 help help promote us uh, all over. You know, we're getting play, airplay all over the country, all over the world. I thank God for that. I just got in. I just got in a, a chart report and they say I'm in heavy rotation all over the world. So we thank God for that. Amen. And and Amen. and the way you can and the way you can get the way you can get in contact with us is by you can contact me by S Bozeman one. That's my email. S B O Z E M A N the number one at cox c o x dot net. And and my my number. You can reach me if you need me for uh, 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 speaking engagement or concerts. I love to do concerts for my group. You got to hear them. They're an awesome group. Uh, you can you can reach me at area code eight five zero three eight four. Nine one three four. Once again, that's area code eight five zero three eight four nine one three four. Or you can reach me through Kimmy Kim. Amen. Amen. And it's an honor. You're an amazing man. And uh, give us a final good thought for the week and pray us out. And we're going to have you back. And you are the feature artist for April. And we will have that done by the end of this weekend. And I'm just so honored to call you friend and my brother. And Amen. it's been a pleasure. been a pleasure. Amen. God bless. So, all right. The thought I will give you for this week is that stay true to God and yourself. Trust in Jesus with all of your heart and lean not to your own understanding. I know sometimes things get a little difficult, and you want to you want to change, uh, uh, you want to give up, but trust in God and be- and and believe in yourself. And lean not to your own understanding. God is going to bless you. He's going to see you through the through the rain, and after the rain, sunshine will come. Let us let us pray, Heavenly Father. We thank you for this program. We thank you for allowing us to come on and be a part of this great uh, Elation Magazine program, Lord. Continue to bless the program as it go forth throughout the land as you endeavor, Lord. Bless Kimmy Kim, Lord, continuously. Leaders and guide us, Lord, let us always be under the guidance of you by the Spirit of the Holy Ghost. And we love you, Lord. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. And we give you the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen, my brother. And you have a blessed, blessed weekend. Thank you, my sister. God bless. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. I'm 
feel like the world when I left home. So I pray to the 